Wir sind ja nur fasziniert von etwas. We're only ever fascinated by things we don't fully grasp, things that are open-ended and defy comprehension, also at a conceptual level. Ganz begreifbar ist. I would describe all my buildings as being heavily regimented. They're subject to and defined by a strictly ordered regime. The important question centers on what things attract us. What is it that compels us to think? We only really start to think when we manage to escape from our conventional way of seeing things. And that requires a certain degree of provocation. With surreal or metaphysical architecture, sensing, experiencing and interpreting also work through the interaction of opposites, by breaking through the taboos of convention. Well, the building has no roof. It gives the impression of having a pitched roof, a gable roof, but in reality it has no roof. That's often felt as a provocation, an insult to human reason, but I don't see it that way at all. It's not that the building has no roof, it just has a very large hole where the roof should be. The most radical thing about the Bardiel House is the ratio between courtyard and interior, one-third habitable, two-thirds non-habitable space. That's actually an imbalance. And this imbalance is what we probably regard as the liberating feature. I would say it's a liberated house.